Good afternoon, Mary. How are you? Hola, Maria. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? How are you? Fine, teacher. Good. Very good. Good to have you in class. Welcome back. What about Anna? Hi, Anna. How are you? Hi, fine, teacher. Very good. Good to have you in class. What about Karen? How are you, Karen? Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? Very good. Very good. And you? I'm pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. All right, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to have you once again. We're going to start with the class, all right? You can't miss it, all right? Class number five. Today, we are going to start with section three, okay? Today, we're going to start with section three, but also we have to make um, kind of like a review of the last unit, right? So let's see. Ahora vamos a comenzar la sección 3, pero vamos a hacer un review pequeño de la unidad 2, right? De las últimas partes de la unidad 2. Let's see. Number one, mention at least three parts of the body. Let's see, Maria, si cuenta, three parts of the body. De las que usted se acuerde. No. 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 Disculpe, no la escuché. Nose. Uh -huh, nose. Mouth. Mouth. Ear. Ears. All right. Excellent, Mary. There you have it. That's correct. Let's go with. Uh -huh, Anita. Let's see. Head. Uh -huh. Eyes. Nose. Mouth. Finger. Foot. Uh, uncle. Uh -huh. Knee. That's correct. Very good. Knee. That's correct, Anita. Now, let's go with number two. Mention the structure with have, okay? Se recuerdan que ayer veíamos la estructura con el have y con el feel. A ver, vamos a ver entonces. Let me see. Okay. Regalen un segundo que una compañera me está escribiendo, una compañera de ustedes me está escribiendo, okay? Okay, there you have it. Let's continue there's right. Tenemos de Genever, ajá. Gloria Mena, mention the structure with have. La estructura con el have que veíamos ayer. I have um, a stomach. All right, I have a stomach. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, but what's the structure? ¿Cuál es la estructura? Mm, es subject uh -huh. más I have uh -huh. más have. no, no. Más no, no. Plus no. Uh -huh. Excellent. That's uh -huh. correct, Gloria. Thank you. Plus no. All right, let's move on with the number three. Mention the structure with feel. Uh -huh. Let's see, Karen, Karen Heyman. Subject plus feel plus adjective. Uy, Karen, no la alcancé a escuchar. Puede repetir de nuevo, please. Subject mm -hmm. plus feel plus adjective. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. All right. And let's go with number four. Mention at least three common medications, all right? Do you remember that yesterday uh, we saw the vocabulary related to common medications, right? So let's think about some of them or let's try to remember some of them. Let's see, Lady Ventura, tell me three common medications that you remember. Hi, Miss. Um, Hi, good afternoon. Aspirin. Very nice. Antiacid mm -hmm. and eye drops. That's correct. Excellent, lady. Very good. Let me see. Isis Reyes. Okay, Isis, tell me three common medications, please. 
Okay. Uh, cold spread, cold drop, and mm -hmm. eye drops. All right, exit. Cold syrup. Uh -huh, very good. Excellent, Isis. Excellent. All right, girls, very good. You do remember a lot of vocabulary. Excellent, okay? Just for you to remember in case that we missed it, all right? A structure with have. Subject plus have plus noun, right? Let me see. Vanessa Leiva, can you please read sentence number one and two? Yes, uh, one, she has a stomach. Stomach? Number two, stomach. Okay. Number two, I have chest pain. Mm -hmm. Chest pain, all right. Excellent, thank you, Vanessa. Well, let's see the other structure that we have. Okay, a structure with fill. Let me go with Karen Martinez. Can you please read the structure? Okay. Uh, number one, I feel bad. Number two, Anita feels awful. Awful. Uh, number three, my father feels ex excited. Mm -hmm. That's correct, Karen. Thank you. All right, girls, let's check this out. Do you remember that yesterday we saw the different adjectives, right? Let's see. Raise your hand if you remember a negative adjective from the ones that we saw yesterday. Whenever. A negative adjective? Let's see, ladies. Um, awful, terrible, mm -hmm. and miserable. That's correct. Excellent. Very good. Y cuáles serían las positive then? Let me have somebody else who would like to tell me the positive ones. Fine, great, fantastic. All right. That's correct, Mary, thank you, fine, great, all right? We need to learn them. Sometimes we need to memorize them, right? Like in this case, so that we know how to use them, right? That it's, that's why it's really useful to have this kind of structures, right? Let's see, let's move on to the next one. Now, justamente lo que ven aquí es lo que aparece en la platform. Imagino que ustedes ya terminaron ayer la section two, right? Vamos aquí con esto. Imperatives, all right? Let's see. Ayer hacíamos una conversation con imperatives, right? Some of you were Dr. Young, the other ones were Mrs. West, right? But now let's see the real thing with imperatives. I'm going to have Anita. Anita, can you please read the three first sentences that we have, which are in positive? Uh, they um they appeal every four hour, hours hours rest, hours rest in bed drink lots of juice mm -hmm. that's correct anita thank you let me go with gloria mena gloria tell me the other three please in negative don't work too hard don't Stay out late. Don't drink soda. Exactly. Very good. Thank you. Now let's go with this. We have the structure. Let me see. Isis Reyes. Isis, no lee la, estru la estructura, please. Solo la estructura. Y el example también. Don't verb complement. Mm -hmm. Don't drink too much. That's correct. Don't plus verb plus complement. All right. Very good. There you have it. And this is the example, right? Don't drink too much. All right. Because there's people who drinks alcohol or drinks a lot of soda or things like that. But it's not like they drink once in a while, right? 
they drink every day, every day, right? So every day at every time they are drinking soda or beer or anything else. So that's why this is an imperative in negative. Now, what are we going to do, girls? Practice time. Let me see. Maria Siguenza, can you please tell me the instructions? Mm -hmm. Exactly, thank you. It could be either negative or affirmative, you decide. All right, but only two sentences. Let's work on that, please. If you need help, let me know. Is, eh, puede retroceder la anterior? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Para los participantes del nivel 3 que se van uniendo a la clase, estamos trabajando con imperatives, right? Estamos haciendo Solamente dos oraciones. Pueden ser negativas, si ustedes gustan, o positivas, right? And imperatives. Y aquí están los ejemplos. Let me know whenever you're finished. Finished. Excellent, very good. Aha, uh -huh, Patricia. Have you finished or you want yes, to ask? Finish. I'm finished. Okay, so let's see. Let's start with Emperatriz. You tell me your sentences, and after you, Emperatriz, Patricia, let's have it, all right? Okay. Action. Uh, in imperative sentences, complete this by tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it. All right. Very uh, good. Negative. Uh, don't sit there. Uh, don't smoke in your room. All right. Excellent, Emperatriz. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Let me go with Patricia. Let's see, Patricia. Uh, in a positive sentences is take a bit vitamin vitamins I don't know say vitamin. vitamin vitamins every day. In a negative, don't miss breakfast. Mm -hmm. 
Excellent, very good. You're right, Patricia. We shouldn't miss breakfast. Patricia, if it is only one vitamin, you say take a vitamin once a day or whatever you said at the end. But if you want to add more than one, you say take vitamins, all right? Vitamins, okay. Excellent, thank you. Let's go, somebody else who has finished. Aha, uh -huh, lady, let's go with lady. And after lady, Maria Siguenza. Drink a lot of uh, water. Take calcium. Calcium? Calcium, take a calcium every day. Excellent, already good. Ahí puede agregarle calcium peel, all right? Porque creo que si vienen en, como en píldoras, en peel, right? Thank you. Let's go, Maria. And after Maria, Gloria Mena. Uh, I don't, I don't drink coffee at night. Mm -hmm. uh, they are aspirin every six hours. Every six hours, uh huh. Every hours. six hours. Uh -huh. All right. Only two. Uh, uh, drink. Don't drink Coca Cola at night. All right. Excellent, Gloria. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nos quiere quitar la vida, Gloria. <laughs> Don't drink Coca Cola at night. Okay. Excellent, Gloria. Now listen. Usually, Gloria, when we are giving instructions, we don't get our own subject into the instructions, right? We don't say I, no, no, no. We usually say don't, or we say the verb just right on the top, right? We don't include the sub, right? Because we are giving an instruction. Let's go with Mary. Okay. They appearing every six hours. Mm -hmm. Red in bed for three days. Excellent, I like that one, rest in bed for three days. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. What about somebody else? Me faltan chicas, a ver, uh -huh. let's see. What about, uh -huh, Karen Martinez? Um, rest in a uh, humble. Mm -hmm. Está bien dicho hamaca? Mm, I think that actually, esa se dice en español no tiene translation. Okay. Rest in the a lot of water. Mm -hmm. It's true. Drink a lot of water. Excellent, Karen. Thank um, you. Otra? Don't work uh, negative. Don't work on Saturday. All right. Excellent. Very good. Don't work um, on Saturdays. Don't eat the jowl. Don't eat? Don't eat the conservar uh -huh. the jowl. Ah, okay, okay. That's correct. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Okay, what about, let me see. La otra Karen, tenemos otra Karen en la clase, Karen Heyman, pero creo que ya se desconectó. Bueno, vamos con Isis Reyes. Please, Isis, tell me your sentences. Okay, uh, number one, don't leave home. Mm -hmm. And number two, Talking on phone. Talk on the phone. Yeah. Okay. Talk on the phone. Excellent. Thank you. And let me see Fatima Enriquez, please. Uh, drink a coffee every day. Um, don't work. Um, too late. Uh -huh. That's correct. Only those, Fatima, or you have more? Only two. All right, excellent. Now, Fatima, for the first one, 
podríamos agregarle eh, drink a cup of coffee every day, right? A cup of coffee. Una taza de café todos los días, right? Okay. Let me go with, okay, girls, I think that I'm missing Anita, but I don't see her. No veo a Ana. Quizás se le cayó la red. Vanessa Leiva, you haven't participated yet, right? Todavía no ha pasado. Okay, um, number one. Um, come back later. Um, don't open the door. Mm -hmm. uh, call me tomorrow. All right, that's correct, Vanessa, thank you. Yes, everybody, let's keep into our minds that basically imperatives are instructions, right? When you ask someone to do something, it's not when you ask, it's when you order someone to do something, right? Either it could be affirmative as you already made those sentences, or it could be in negative, all right? Thank you so much, very good practice. Now let's move on to this part, reading. As far as I remember, Yesterday, we didn't have the time to finish the readings, right? But I guess that you already finished the section two. Let me ask you, have you finished section two? ¿Ya terminamos la sección dos? Everybody? Yes. Yes. Excellent, very good. All right, I'm happy for you. Muy bien, porque así no nos vamos atrasando, okay? Pues vamos rápido con el contenido. Let's see, believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. Mm, interesting, all right? 10 simple ways to improve your health. Let's see. We have number one. Well, actually we have 10. Let me see. Voy a dividirlas entre todas porque quiero que todas participen con el reading. Let's start with Patricia, Patricia Quinta. No, Patricia Pacheco. Number one and two, please. Okay. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. Two, go for a walk. Walking is good exercise. And exercise is necessary for good healthy. All right, excellent for good health. Very good, Patricia, excellent reading. Let's go with Gloria Mena, three and four. Don't just brush them. Brushing uh, keeps your gun healthy. Healthy. Uh -huh. Drink a cup of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Thank you, Gloria. Gloria, repeat after me. Uh, floss your teeth. Flow. Floss your teeth. Uh -huh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, Gloria. Let me go with Maria Siwenza. Five and six, please. It's for five minutes. It's important for you to score. We sit well. Every year, sit well. Say, don't talk. Thousands of lives. Of life. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. Jenny Romero, seven and eight. Sorry, teacher, I can't see very well. Ah, oh, okay, don't worry. Sí, es que no se ve muy bien, la verdad, to be honest, right? Porque la tomé de ahí, pero del video. Pero I let's try, try to me. Ah? I will try. Okay, try. If don't, uh, six don't and seven, yeah? yeah, yeah. Teacher? ¿Cómo, cómo? <laughs> six and seven. No, seven and eight. I don't do something to change your brain. Challenge. Brain. 
Ah, sorry. Do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a, a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Protect your skin. Use lots of noise. Sunscreen. I don't know what is the problem. Sorry? Sunscreen. Bloqueador solar. Sunscreen. No. You ah. use a lot of moisturizer. Moisturizer Sorry. and sunscreen. All right. Excellent, Jenny. Thank you. And let's go with Lady. Let me see, Lady Ventura. Can you please read nine and ten, please? Get enough calcium. Your bone needs it. Dairy food like yogurt, milk, and cheese. Have a calcium. Number 10, take a time out, a break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk or sit down and listen to music. Mm -hmm. That's great. So let's see. I'm going to ask Fatima Enriquez. Let's see, Fatima, how many of these things do you do every day? Or which ones? <laughs> eh, what, teacher? Eh, sorry. ¿Cuáles hace usted cada día de estas? De todas estas. Um, go for a walk. Mm -hmm. And flow your tea. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good, excellent. Yeah, sometimes because of the time, we are not able to complete all of them, right? Because we are um, very busy. So that's the reason why. Let me ask Vanessa Leiva. Let's, let's see, Vanessa. Which of these things do you do every day? Um, eat a bit, breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, Drink eight cups of water every day. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. All right, Vanessa. Very good. Now, there are things like, for example, do something to challenge your brain, right? That's kind of a, how can I say this? It's not something usual, right? We don't do that usually. We don't try to challenge our brain, although we should, <laughs> because we know that we are able to do more than just one thing. All right, everybody, let's work on this one. We have places and things, all right? This is part of section three, so let's get started with it. <coughs> Let me see if I can make this bigger for you. Okay, let's get started. This is vocabulary, so please, if you want, you can copy this vocabulary on your notebooks, all right? So we have bank, drugstore, post office, gas station, a restaurant. Well, you have the indefinite article. Ah, okay, so let's start. A bank, a drugstore, a post office, a gas station, a restaurant, let me move this one. A bookstore, a department store, supermarket, right? These are like basic places that we usually visit, right? Most likely every day. So let's see. You have a video with this information on the platform. And I'm going to ask you right now, right now to practice your vocabulary, okay? Which is this one. Before ask you, asking you that, before asking you that, do you have a question about any pronunciation of this vocabulary that you want me to tell you before you practice? Or everything is clear as water? Okay, thanks. Let's get started. Let's start with Karen Martinez. Karen, tell me the vocabulary, please. 
Okay. A bank, a drugstore, a post office, a gas station, a restaurant, a bookstore, a department store, a supermarket. That's correct. Thank you, Karen. Let's go with Emperatriz. Please tell me the vocabulary. A bank, a drugstore, a post office, a gas station, a restaurant, a bookstore, a department store, and a supermarket. All right, thank you. A supermarket, okay? Don't forget this one is a thing. Now, girls, give me one second because uh, some, of, some of your classmates are sending some sentences, right? And I need to answer them. Okay, let's continue. Let's go with Gloria Mena, please. Tell me the vocabulary. A bank, a drugstore, a post office, a gay station, a restaurant, a store, a department history, and a supermarket. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Repeat after me, Gloria. Bookstore. Bookstore. Mm -hmm. Bookstore. Thanks. Very good. Thank you, Gloria. Maria Siguenza, your turn. A bank, a drugstore, a post office, a gas station, a restaurant, a bookstore, a department store, and a supermarket. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Thank you, Mary. Let's go with Vanessa Leiva. Tell me the vocabulary. Um, a bank. A drugstore, a bus office, a gas station, a restaurant, a bookstore, a department store, a supermarket. Excellent. Thank you, Vanessa. Lady Ventura, please tell me the vocabulary. A bank, a drugstore, a bus office, a gas station a restaurant, a bookstore, a department store, and a supermarket. That's correct. Lady, repeat after me, department store. Department, department store. store. Excellent. Thank you, lady. Thank you, very good. Uh, let's go with Isis Reyes, please. Tell me the vocabulary. Okay, um, a bank. A drugstore, a post office, a gas station, a restaurant, a bookstore, a department store, a supermarket. That's correct. Thank you, Isis. And let me go with Jenny Romero, please. A bag? A bookstore, a supermarket, a restaurant, a gas station, a post office, Okay, I see that we we have some feedback over there. Don't worry. Okay, don't worry. Eh, if you have, si tiene altavoz, eh, lo, lo puede bajar cuando participe, ¿ok? Así no, no se preocupa. <laughs> ok, Jenny. Okay. Thank you. Let me go with Patricia Pacheco. Ok, a bank, a drugstore, a bookstore, a department store, a post office, a gas station, a restaurant. That's correct. Thank you. And the last one, Fatima Enriquez, please. Sorry, teacher. 
Uh, can you tell me the vocabulary, please? Okay. Todavía no ha pasado a decirme el vocabulario, ¿verdad? No. Okay, excellent. Tell me. A bank, a drugstore, a bookstore, a department store, a supermarket, a post office, a gas station, a, a restaurant. That's correct. All right, girls. Excellent. Let me give you an applause. You did a great job with this pronunciation. I'm happy for you. All right. Listen, although it seems simple and easy, right? Sometimes for some strange reason, we try to make another type of pronunciation and we made a mistake, but this was not, not your case. All right. Very good. Excellent. Now let's practice. Right. Well, you know that this class is all about practice, right? And also developing the content. But at the same time, I want you to practice, girls, because I know that outside we hardly ever practice, right? So let's see. We have instructions. Let me see. Patricia Pacheco, tell me the instructions, please, or read the instructions. Okay. One, work in the Witoli. Two, Create a list to sentences with the vocabulary learning. Three, giving example. You can pay bill at a bank. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Patricia, repeat after me. Guiding. Guiding. Uh -huh. Exactly. Thank you. Patricia. Guiding example. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. All right. Este es un guiding example. También en el video ustedes van a encontrar, creo que solo uno más les brindan. All right. Con esto tenemos para comenzar a trabajar. You know what to do. Create two sentences using this vocabulary into your sentences.
finish. Excellent, really good. Okay, lady, tell me your sentences. You can send the letter at a post office. Mm -hmm. You can send a letter in a post office. We can buy a department store clothes for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, she can buy a eye drops at a drugstore. Very good, very good. Uh -huh. And the last, you can search a scary book at a bookstore. Scary book, uh -huh. okay, excellent. Lady, can you repeat number two again? We can buy a department store clothes for everyone. Okay, ahí está. Si está bien su sentence, right? Solo vamos a cambiarle. Vamos a ponerle, you can buy clothes for everyone at a department store. Ah, okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. That's the only thing. Thank you, lady. Very good. Very good. E hizo uso de otro vocabulary. Excellent. Let's see, Patricia, your sentences. You can buy some vitamins at the drugstore. Mm -hmm. uh, you can buy a dress in a department store. That's correct. Do you have another one? Only two. Um, I can pay the, the um, I don't know, say quota. Yeah, bill. <laughs> it's it's that same. Bill. Yeah, it's the same. Mm, es que los bills son todos los my education que... bill, my education bill in uh -huh. the bank. All right, excellent, Patricia, very good, at a bank. Excellent. Somebody else who has finished? Question, miss. Aha, uh -huh, Karen. No, lady, question. Ah, lo siento, es que vi que Karen también tenía el micrófono. Abierto. Let's see, lady. Uh, this is correct. I am going to buy the grocery at a supermarket. Yes, I'm going to buy my grocery at the supermarket. Yes. Okay. That's correct. Very good. Okay, teacher. Uh, me. Okay, got it. I can buy a book in the box store. Uh, you can buy fruit in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. That's correct. You can refill at a gas station. Mm -hmm. Can I seal your letter at the post office? You can send your letter. You can send your letter at the post office. Uh -huh. Yes, Kai. Only. Only those, very good, excellent. Me gusta, que hagan más de buen ejemplo, right? Excellent. Por eso dice, al menos dos sentences, pero si ustedes pueden hacer más, it's perfect, porque es práctica para ustedes. Y eso es lo que necesitamos, right? Somebody else? Teacher. Okay, Gloria, tell me. I can buy a book interesting at Boston. I can buy aspirin I drop drugstore. All right, excellent, Gloria. Repeat, uh, mm -hmm. Gloria, can you repeat number one again? Quiero chequear ahí. I can buy but eh, uh, I can buy but at Boston. Right. Pero creo que usted había dicho interesting, ¿verdad? Ah, but interesting. Right. Entonces lo ponemos antes del book, el interesting. Interesting book. Books. Ajá. Ahí ya entra en plural, books. I can sí, buy... Sí, sí. I can buy interesting book at Bookstore. Bookstore. Very good. Excellent, Gloria. There you have it. 
Maria Sigüenza. Okay. You can eat a restaurant near here. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get new paper at bookstore. Uh -huh. Yes. You can buy medication at drugstore. At a drugstore, uh huh. Only that. Only those. <laughs> All right, excellent, Mary. Thank you. Somebody else? Emperatriz, excellent. Okay. She can buy some at a drugstore. Mm -hmm. I need to go at a supermarket. He going to go at a gas station. And you can help me to pay a bill at the bank. All right, very good. Number one and number four are correct. The other two, tenemos que hacer un, una revisión, right? Porque aquí estamos hablando de cosas que podemos hacer y actividades se pueden hacer en ciertos lugares, all right? Uh -huh. No estamos dando uh -huh. eh, una orden o una sugerencia a alguien de que haga eso en un lugar, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Me repite las dos que tienen medio, number two and number three, creo que fueron. Okay, I need to go. A supermarket. Okay, bye. Hay una necesidad. Ajá. La tendríamos uh, que cambiar go. por algo, emperatriz, como I can buy, o oh, también puede decir I need to buy food in the supermarket. O okay. at the supermarket. Okay. Y the other sentence is, he going to go at a gas station. All right. Ya estamos haciendo otro uso. Aquí estamos todavía con el simple present. Let's see. En este caso, he needs to go. He needs to get gas at a gas station. Puede poner, como necesita poner gasolina en la gas station, right? Okay, Beatrice, thank you. Thank you. ¿Cómo quedaría la, la estructura entonces de esta oración? Vaya, si quiere poner I need, porque ahorita estamos utilizando el can, right? El can es diferente de I need. El can es de, para posibilidad o ability, right? You can, usted puede, all right? O tú puedes. En este caso, si ponemos el I need, es porque usted necesita hacer algo. Y va a decir qué es lo que va a hacer y a dónde lo va a hacer. Entonces, um, you need to refill gas, all right? You need to refill gas. Necesita refiliar la gasolina, right? Refilar. Refilar sería en español. But in English, is refill gas. Y de ahí pone in, in the gas station. O at a gas station. Porque estamos utilizando el at, okay? At a gas station. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Let's go with the next one, Fatima Enriquez. Let's see, Fatima. Sorry, teacher. Um, wait. Yeah, take your time. Don't worry. I can buy a skin cream and the supermarket. Uh -huh. Wait. You can buy shoes at the department store? Yes. Please. You can, you can buy pills from the drugstore? All right, you can buy pills at a, at a drugstore. Yeah. Excellent. Very good, Fatima, thank you, excellent. Now, I think I'm missing a couple of girls. Let me see, uh, Vanessa Leiva. Yo, Vanessa, are you there? 
Uh, hi. Si. Hi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can go to buy food at the supermarket. I can buy food at the at a supermarket. Uh -huh. Oh, at the supermarket. Okay. Okay. okay, at the supermarket. Um, I need uh, I a uh, gas station. All right. I need to refill my to car. Refill. I need to refill my car with gas. When was this in a gas station or at a gas station? Okay, the gas station. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent, Vanessa. Thank you. Now, I think that I'm only missing Isis Reyes, right? Isis? Okay. And um, you can buy sugar at the supermarket. Mm -hmm. And number two, you can find the Harry Potter book at the bookstore. All right, that's correct. Thank you, Isis. Do you have another one? Yeah, anything. All right, excellent, thank you. Now, listen, everyone, let's keep into our minds, right, that this structure is telling us that we have to use at a, uh, okay? You can also use a day if you are specifying a place, right? Other than that, let's try to take this into our minds, right, at a. Uh. Let's move on, girls. I uh, There's something I want to explain you about yeah, that's right. <laughs> because you're going to see what are compound nouns. But before telling you this, I need you to have this, okay? This knowledge. What are nouns, okay? Remember, we are in section three. Recuerden, de aquí estamos en la sección tres. No me puedo acabar todo el contenido de la sección tres ahora porque nos faltan todavía dos días, right? Y después el midterm exam, que también lo vamos a ver la next week de acuerdo al calendario que ustedes les han enviado en los grupos. Ok. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. Ok. You remember that yesterday I told you that, right? ¿Se recuerdan que ayer hablábamos de eso? Que podía ser una persona. Los nouns pueden ser personas, eh, animales, o lugares, cosas. Right? In other words, many things that you see around you are nouns. All right, that's basically it. Let me check your reading, girls. Let me have. Karen Martinez, can you please read this information? A noun, a person, a place, or a thing. In other words, many times, that you see around you are nouns. Right, thank you. Thank you, Karen. Lady, can you please read this information again? Yes. A noun, a person, a place, or a thing. In other words, many things that you need, you see around you are nouns. Exactly, right? A noun equals person. O sea, que un noun puede ser una persona, un lugar, una cosa, un animal imposible, right? In other words, many things that you see around you are nouns. En otras palabras, muchas de las cosas que nosotros podemos visualizar alrededor nuestro son nouns, right? Desde el telephone until the bottle that ladies drinking water from. <laughs> All right, everything could be a noun. Okay, let's keep into our minds this information because tomorrow I'm gonna ask you. <laughs> All right, so you better tell me. Let's see, what are compound nouns? Right, ya no explico que son los nouns, pero y los compound, pues, let's see. A compound noun is a noun that is made with two or more words. Quiero explicarles algo. Esto que ustedes ven aquí y esto que ven aquí también es parte de la platform. Eso aparece justamente ahí en los videos. Cuando ustedes los vayan visualizando, se van a dar cuenta que es almost the same information. A compound 
noun is a noun that is made with two or more words. A compound noun is usually noun plus noun. Pronunciation. Compound nouns tend to have more stress on the first word, right? First word. Let me check, let me check our reading. Maria Siwenza, read this information, please. What are, comp what are compound nouns? A compound noun is a noun that is made with two or more words. A compound noun is usually known plus known. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Compound nouns tend to have more stress on the first word. Excellent. Thank you, Mary. Very good. And let's have Patricia. Do I have Patricia? Ya no la veo, Patricia. I don't know if she's in here. No, she's not. Okay, let me have a Emperatriz then. Read once again this information. What are some compound nouns? A compound noun is a noun that is made with two or more words. A compound noun is usually noun plus noun. Pronunciation. Compound nouns tend to have more stress or the first word. Exactly. More stress in the first word. Ustedes ya verán los stresses, right? Cuando se le da entonación más fuerte en la primera palabra. And there you have it. Estos son específicamente los que les aparecen en el, en el video. Compound nouns. It says, listen and practice. Notice the stress in this, in this compound nouns. Listen carefully, okay? So whenever you get to your home and listen the audio, you'll be fine. Post office. Gas Post station. Office. Rest room, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Right? I know that some of them are like difficult to give the intonation, right? Tal vez el vocabulary está fácil, pero recordar a dónde va la intonation a veces se nos puede olvidar. So that's why we need to practice. Okay, as we are just missing a couple of minutes, I'm only going to have some of you. Let me see. Lady, can you please tell me the vocabulary with the stress? Let's try. Intentemos. Um, post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drug store, Supermarket, bookstore, department store. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. One question in the restroom or restroom? Is it the gas only? Uh -huh. This is the thing. Restroom is different al restrooms que nosotros conocemos como baño, right? It's the restroom okay. is. ¿Cómo se le explica? Este sí es un lugar de descanso, basically, right? That's why it's separate. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But it's the restroom. same, the, the right to say the, the restroom. Mm, the pronunciation. The pronunciation and the right, how do you, uh, ¿cómo se escribe? It's restroom. correct. Yeah, the writing is correct like that. Right? Aquí está correcto. This is how you should write it. Rest room. Mm -hmm. Rest room. Okay. Right, thank you lady, very good question. And let's get somebody else. Let me have Teresa. A ver, Teresa, creo que hoy sí ya puede, ¿verdad? Or not yet. Okay, let me get Vanessa Leiva, please. Tell me the vocabulary. Okay. Fast uh, off Gas station, restaurant, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, 
bookstore, department store. Excellent, thank you. All right, girls, with this, we'll finish the class, all right? I will see you tomorrow. Please start working on section three so that you don't get behind, all right? And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye, girls. Bye. Yeah.